What is going on? This is Sam Gunolf, Sam McKay Fit, checking in with the guys who to do well, doing terrific, and we are back with another video. So in order to give you valuable content going on in 2023 and for the rest of this YouTube channel, I want to start a weekly video called Rapid Fire. Rapid Fire, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, however, whatever that day it is. I don't want to call it a Rapid Fire specific day. I want to call it, it's just a Rapid Fire video. And the reason I don't want to call it Rapid Fire Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday is because I don't want to be bound to a specific day. And I feel like in the creative process, it kind of puts me in a bind not to create a lot of content but i want to create a rapid fire video for you guys just to provide a lot of content uh, in a short quick digestible way. i just want to you know press play get to it give you the information and go by your way so i can release some sort of fusion that might be out there in the fitness community you can grab the content apply it and go by your way so that's what i want this video to be about I promise you guys based on the views based on the engagement i get on these videos i will continually to put this video out there so if you're watching this video if you're new to the channel make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you want me to cover any topic moving forward make sure you put that in the description because i'll be going to the comments and grabbing videos because most of the videos that i create on this channel is typically something that my clients are struggling with or you might be struggling with that you're watching this video so without further ado let's dive into the first rapid fire question for the week the question is how do you lose body fat i feel like losing body fat is something that's been complicated and you see a lot of information out there that gives you one angle and give you, gives you the other angle i don't think it needs to be complicated as much as people are making it to be meaning what's my bmi what's my lean tissue mass although all those points are important but they are not necessary and a lot of tools that are out there on the internet you type that in and put your information in they're usually not accurate so what is the best way to figure out how to lose body fat first i want to declare about losing body fat or if you lost some body fat it's not because you were on a fat. It's not because you did keto. It's not because you did paleo. It's not because you did pescatarian. It's solely because you were in a cal calorie deficit. So what is a calorie deficit? Calorie deficit is you consuming calories below what your maintenance is, meaning you're consuming less than your body needs to just maintain the current state. So how do you figure out what your calorie deficit is? Like I said earlier, you can go online and plug in some information and figure out what your calorie deficit is. The best way that I've been doing it for the last 16 years is typically trying to, find, trying to meet my clients or people where they are currently. What I mean by that is how many calories are you currently right now and what's, what is your current goal? And all you need to do is just be aware of the amount of calories that you're consuming right now. And that could be you can track your calories on a daily basis for five days or three days as long as you want to have a range on average of what you're consuming daily. And once you figure that out, the next part is actually create that deficit. There's a lot of good literature out there that tells you, you want to create a five, 500 calorie deficit. I will actually advise against that because that might be a little too aggressive. That might be a little too aggressive for a lot of people out there. So in order for for this not to be too aggressive you want to start in a very manageable position and you want to create a 300 calorie deficit and once you create that 300 calorie deficit that is a good place for you to start starting at a lower calorie deficit allows you not to just crash into into the diet phase and actually give you some time to slowly work your way down into that deficit 300 calorie deficit is relatively smaller than 500 calorie deficit once you figure out a deficit you need to set a goal of a rate of loss that you want to accomplish for yourself if you have a lot of body fat to lose i mean upwards of 30 40 percent body fat your goal might be a little bit higher than that and by default if you create a deficit for you because you have a lot of body fat to lose you might actually see more than one percent drop on the scale by default one of the benefits of having a one percent goal is because it keeps you in a place where you're not doing you're not being aggressive with your process you're not losing weight too fast too soon which eventually puts you in a position where you cannot sustain that and you find yourself just reverting back to where you start from and throwing a towel just to quit before you got to the best part of the diet or the fat loss phase so just a quick week in order for you to lose weight or lose fat properly you need to be in a caloric deficit how do you figure out your caloric deficit you track your weight on a consistent basis and a span of two three days or five days get your average that's your maintenance create a 200 to 300 calorie deficit for yourself that's a good starting point and what's the rate of loss i should attain for one percent for most people is typically a good range unless you have tons of body fat to give and your rate of loss per week might might be higher by default last one i want to share also is you don't need to make an adjustment every week if you are hitting your goal on a weekly basis there's no need to make any changes at your point you find yourself stuck all you need to do is evaluate what you've done in the past week the macros did i drink my water was asked my sleep if you cover all those variables and you check all those boxes and you think you did you've done everything you need to do then some sort of variable has to change now this is the point where you get to determine what kind of variable you want to change you want to increase your activity maybe you want to add a cardio session or you want to increase your 
step count or you want to decrease your food because you don't really have the time to do additional cardio session you want to cut your calories down by 200 calories or so and that should give you enough response to see some movement on the scale or in your body weight measurement said it's a rapid fire video um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna call it rapid fire Tuesday I'm not sure if I'm gonna call it rapid fire day if you want me to cover any topic that might be baffling you that you're struggling with put that in the comment section and I'll be grabbing some of these videos uh, if you want to reach if you want to reach out to me on Instagram or shoot me a DM or let me know what kind of topic you want to give me to cover this is my Instagram on the screen uh, follow along on the journey excited to get this video rolling for you guys to give you the information that you need so you can go about and be the strongest version of yourself this is Sam Kronoff, Sam Kit Fit, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.